Okay, in this video we have two populations. In 1980, population of Chandler was 30,000. By 2003, it had grown to 170,000. So assuming the growth was linear, on average, how many people were added to the Chandler population each year? So because we're assuming it's linear, it's going up by a constant amount, and we need to find the rate of change. So we're going to do that by doing the change in number of people, so 170,000 minus 30,000 over the change in time, which if you want to use the years here, that's fine. The big thing is we just need to make sure that the change in years is uh, 23 years. So we are going to get 140,000 over 23 which if you use your calculator to calculate you're going to get roughly 6,087 people per year. Okay, It's a rate of change so it's something changing with respect to something else in this case the output which is people per unit change in input which is year. Now again assuming the growth is linear find a formula that expresses the population with X being in year since 1980. So that means x equals 0 is 1980. That automatically makes 30,000 our initial amount or our y-intercept. So we know that 30,000 will be our b for our linear function. And we know our slope, we found it last time, is 6,087. And we know it's increasing, so it needs to be plus. So it has to be a. Notice c is not linear d is not linear, it's exponential. p is linear, but they subtract it off the initial amount. And in b has the wrong slope. So our answer is a.